Hey, all right, it's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. I love these. This is called Copy Down for Across. It's our 56th uh, episode of the Dueling Excel podcast. Uh, this question sent in. Someone wants to uh, create a median of these test scores and they want to enter that right here in cell C2, but they want to be able to copy that formula down and each time it goes down a row, they want it to go over a column. Right, and they don't want to have to re-enter the formula each different time. Uh, so here's how I would attack this. I'm going to use the median function, uh, but I'm not going to specify, I'm not going to hard code the range that I want to use. I'm going to use the offset function. Offset is an amazing function that lets us do so many different things. So we always start from a top left corner cell. I'm going to start here from cell A8. And I'm going to press F4 to lock that down. And then it says, all right, how many rows down do you want to go? to get to the starting point of the range, uh, zero in this case. How many columns over do you want to go? Okay, well, for this first one, for test one, I want to go over one column, but I'm not going to put the number one in there. I'm going to use the world's geekiest way to write the number one. That's called row of A1. The beautiful thing about row of A1, it tells me that, that A1 is in cell is in row one, so I get a one. That's great, uh, but as I copy that down, it's going to change to row of A2, which is going to give me a two and then a 3, and then a 4, and then so on. All right, a comma. How tall do we want it to be? Well, we want it to be 12 rows tall, and how wide? One column wide. So that finishes off our offset, close off our median, and 71. Now, when I copy this down, it automatically changes. See right here, it changes to be row of A2. That's going to give me the second column over from that starting cell, and then the third column over, and the fourth column over, and so on. So using offset, a great way to make things as you copy them down, go across. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, you gotta love that offset inside a median. I'm gonna hit enter. Let's come over here to this sheet. And I gotta use the median, right? Median. Oh, and instead of offset, I'll try the index. Now, index can look up a whole column. And as we go down, we're going to tell the index to look up this column first, then this column, then this column. Array means all the values, and index is specifically built. I'm going to hit F4 there to lock it. Uh, the index function is specifically built to do a two-way lookup. So if I were to say, hey, array, look through here and find the second row, one, two, and the second column, it would return the number 54. So comma after you put the array in and there's a row and a column so all you got to do is say which row and column well the cool thing is uh, row if you leave it blank it'll give you all the rows so for example for test one we do we want column one but all of the rows so I'm just gonna leave it blank comma and then column number now we just need to for test one we need to say column one test two we need to say column two now I could use the row or the rows which probably I would tend to do most of the time since these are probably in the same order as these. But if they're not, you could switch over to the match. The match can still give us the column number, but it'll actually do a lookup. It'll look up test one and look through here and say, oh, that's the first item. So the lookup value is going to be whoop, that one there, comma, lookup array, these ones here, F4, comma, and we want an exact match. We're looking up words that are not necessarily sorted. So I'm going to type 0 for exact match. Close parentheses on the match. Close parentheses. Oh, that's our column number, right? Close parentheses on the index. Close parentheses on the median. All right, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Let's come and look at this one right here. The match should be giving us 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key. Sure enough, it is Control Z, and the index better give us this whole column 70, 23, 46. I'm going to hit the F9 key, that's the evaluate key, and sure enough, it's giving us the same values as there. So it's looking up the whole column. In essence, Control Z, the match looks up the column number, the index delivers the whole column. All right, now let's test this. We use the match instead of row or rows so that if these were out of order, which they probably wouldn't be here, right? So I have test three listed first for whatever reason. And sure enough, because it's the match, when we come here, it's looking that up, right? So it's going to say, hey, that's the third item here, which will be our column number. 
And sure enough, that's working. All right, throw it back over to Mr. Excel.